Hi, I'm Wayne from TC Electronics and Marine. Um, this video is for an uh, electric shift repair or rebuild or what we install. Um, and it's primarily I'm doing this video to correct some of the problems that we run into um, from the customer to us when they're referring information. An example is this is a swivel housing off the top of the um, electric shift. And you'll notice it has 10 bolt pattern here. So it's an important to know that there's a difference between the there's a 10 bolt pattern and an 8 bolt pattern on the electric shift. Approximately 1972 or 71, half of that year to 77, some 78s, um, they will come with a 10 bolt pattern and 67 to 71 or 70 will come with an 8 bolt pattern and they're different. The uh, prop shaft is different, the dry shaft is different, the insides are completely different. So when you're ordering um, just check to see if you have a 10 bolt or an 8 bolt um, unit to begin with. That would eliminate a lot of the problems. If you're just doing a repair, um, we, we have an 87620 seal kit and that will um, work for most people. Um, if you're using the prior unit, a, six, a 1967 to um, 71 you will have to punch two holes, but you can still use the gasket. It's not the correct gasket, but it will do. The rest of the seals fit fine and the O-rings. So these are the parts. That's a shift cable, an electric shift cable, number 27931. I'm just going through to show you the parts. These would be in a rebuild that we would normally do. This uh, particular unit here uh, would be sandblasted if it was one from stock. It would have a zinc chromer primer on it and then an epoxy paint um, which takes a while to dry I might add. It takes about 48 hours. It takes longer to dry than to and it does to do the entire to do two or three drives. Okay, the next item on the agenda would be the um, gear case head assembly. The OEM number is 0381849 on this and basically what happens on a lot of older units is this it's got two seals in here on the original one I'm not sure we can see it but you get scoring on the shaft from this from these two seals so on the units we do here we machine this out this is a sample of one here so we machine it out so that we can insert three oil seals instead of two. By installing the three, we end up with the seal area on a different spot. It'll end up with the seals going to a different spot on the dry shaft. So if there was any scoring on your, or sorry, your prop shaft, so if there was any scoring on the prop shaft, the seal would sit in a different spot and hopefully give you another 10 or 15 years of uh, use without changing the prop shaft. We've I've done many of these like this over the last 20 years and they stand up really well. Normally they will last at least 10 years after you've done this. Um, this is the bearing that you will need to replace. The bearing is a Thorington 
BH1812 is the, our order number from the GLM order number from sterndrive.info um, is 22860. It's item number 41 on the drawing, if you're looking on the drawing. And if you're planning on machining this out, if you have a lathe at home, you only two seals come with the kit. There would be two for the upper. That would you would require to go in here, okay? Or that would be the upper seal there. Okay, there's two that are going to be required for that. And they give you two to replace the original. But because we're putting three in here, you'd would have to order an extra seal by itself. The seal number is 85110 if you're purchasing uh, just one of those. You, you'd need to order an extra one. The OEM number would be 310599. Okay, and I'm not sure we can get if you can see it or not in the camera there, but there is three seals in there. Okay, first you place the bearing and then you put the three seals in. And you use a 680 or a 609 Loctite with this. It's a retaining compound. And it's, um, you use that to hold the bearing and the um, seals in. And this case this comes with a compound on the outside of the the brown compound and uh, I sand those I, I just go around with a fine sandpaper uh, to make sure that the 680 Loctite um, catches it's important that when you're using the 680 Loctite on this that this is surface area in here be very clean a lacquer thinner or a nail polish remover not not gas or barsol or something like that that has an oil in it. Um, and if you don't have either of those, you can just use a 600 sandpaper and wipe it dry. It's better than uh, cleaning it with the wrong compound. But the best thing is if you can wipe it uh, with the Loctite primer or the lacquer thinner or a nail polish remover. Either one of those items will prime it for the 680 or 609 Loctite. If there's play here, the 680 Loctite will allow up to 20 thou gap. So if your unit you put in here almost falls through, don't worry about it. Just prime it with the 680 Loctite. Leave it 24 hours. Put the Loctite on this on the outside edge here and on the inside. Leave it 24 hours and then one one more coat just before you're going to put it together and that's uh, pretty much it um, for this video um, but I am going to show you um, on the video following this the difference in ru uh, rudders hi I'm Wayne from TC Electronics and Marine that would be sterndrive.info that uh, we're doing this for. Um, I'm, this is part two. I'm going to try and add it to part one. I don't know. I've never done this before. On the, I'm just uh, trying to save myself some work by um, showing people um, what they can do and what to look for. So I'm going to continue here. When you're installing the um, oil seals the you'll notice that this has been installed approximately 60 thou 1 16th of an inch high on purpose and the reason for this is if they're scoring on the dry shaft that it will go to a different place and uh, seal out. If you leave it, if you press it down even the way it was originally, you will end up putting the seal back in the same groove that was there before. If you go to a different spot on it, 
chances are it will seal and last another 10 or 20 years. Otherwise it will be short lived if you put it back in the um, area where the groove is. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see that but it would go down deeper than normally. You can definitely see how I've left it high here. Okay, and you use 680 Loctite or 609 Loctite, whichever one you have. It's a retaining compound. You can't use normal Loctite. The Type C oil that you use in the electric shifts uh, will end up eating eating the, um, the red and the blue Loctite. So you have to use 680 or 609 green retaining Loctite. It's the same thing that's used for spark plugs and in installing Healy coils. If you have some around. Okay, next on the agenda is that when you're ordering a, an electric shift, it does not come, we do not ship them with a rudder or a rudder plate, a uh, rudder to gear case plate, I think it's called, but whatever. And the reason for this is there's seven or eight variations. I have four that I have here with me now. The rudder itself, this is the one that came off this unit, it's a 77 unit. Okay, so it would look like that. The back's there. Okay, and um, unit, um, the plate that came with it was this one here. Okay. But normally on a 77 unit, this is the style we see. Okay, but that's not what we received. They're similar. Except for the cutout is much larger on the 77. Okay, this is a older style one. This plate here. And um, you can see the configuration on this one is, is again completely different. Um, where it goes up, probably it matches this one. Where it goes up through, that would mount on there or something like that your water would go through here and up through the middle. So the moral of the story here I'm trying to get across is if you need one of these styles or types um, just tell us which one and if we have one lying around we'll just ship it free of charge both the plate and the router or the rudder um, with the unit when ordering one. And then if you're sending yours in to be re repaired or serviced um, and we're sandblasting it and painting it you should send the assembly both pieces in so that we can paint them at the same time they'd be painted zinc chromac uh, with zinc chromac and then um, a lacquer thinner finish over top of it thanks for watching this video bye